Uh, Olga Spin mm -hmm. is standing by. Hi, Olga. Hi, Susie and Juan. And we're looking at another chilly night, especially for places like the Antelope Valley. We're looking at numbers dropping below freezing uh, for places like Lancaster. Freeze warning in place overnight through early tomorrow because numbers are going to be dropping down into the 20s uh, for some of you. For the rest of us, uh, still in the 40s. That is cold for us here in Southern California and even in the teens uh, for some of our mountain areas, including Big Bear. It was a chilly start to the day also and uh, here's a look at our future cast as far as the winds uh, we're actually going to see a bit of a warm-up for tomorrow afternoon thanks to some weak offshore winds not too bad we start to see them relax as we head into saturday but for tomorrow we'll get into the 70s uh, for some of us here's what else is headed our way we have veterans day of course tomorrow we're two weeks from Thanksgiving and just over 40 days from the winter solstice. The one thing we are not expecting is more rain. Temperatures uh, will continue below average over the extended period. Tomorrow, low 70s. Uh, that's going to be a warmer day. And then as we head into the weekend, we start seeing more of that onshore flow kicking back in. And that's going to drop our numbers back down into the 60s. For the valleys, a pretty similar trend. 70s turning into upper 60s by Saturday. As we take a look at the Inland Empire, we'll see 70 degrees degrees there also. And for the beaches, uh, we're looking at uh, temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 60s. So not a huge fluctuation in the temperatures. For the high desert, temperatures will be in the 60s and then back into the mid to upper 50s. And for the mountains, numbers in the 40s. It's going to be up there. It's going to be nice up at the resorts uh, with all that snow that we received over the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Back to you guys. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.